Overnight, a mother from Florida filed a lawsuit against the artificial intelligence company Character AI and Google. In February, Megan Garcia's 14-year-old son, that Sewell sets her the third on your screen, died by suicide. She says that Sewell was in a months-long virtual emotional and sexual relationship with a chatbot known as Danny. A 14-year-old boy lost his life because of an AI. He had apparently developed emotional attachment to this AI chatbot on an AI platform called Character AI. And you might be asking how a human boy is convinced that an AI in a computer is a real person, falls in love with it, has sexual and romantic conversations with this AI bot. The conversations that he was having with several bots, but particularly one bot that he um, was conducting a romantic and sexually explicit via texting or like sexting. And eventually led him to end his own life. This obviously raises questions of the parenting, the boys, social life, and a whole lot of things. But it's not that simple. This AI thing can be a big problem. But the main focus of this whole news and this tragic event is going to be directed at the company responsible for the character AI chatbot. So how did this happen? Has AI finally gone too far to require strict regulations by the authorities? And what is being done to prevent this from happening in the future? My name is Francis OF only for the fans and I make videos about events, topics and ideas every week. So if this is your type of content, please do want to subscribe and and turn the post notifications on so you'll be notified when I post every week. Now back to the video. A lot of the conversations the child was having with this AI was quite disturbing and a few of them have been revealed. In this screenshot, the kid may have expressed intentions to harm himself which the AI bot made him promise not to. In the first half of this conversation, it's obvious by his reply that the AI advised him against harming himself. The next thing the AI should have done at this point was to ask him to seek professional help or talk to someone in his family, which a lot of AI bots do when conversations are getting a bit serious. But until the entire text is revealed, we might never know what went on between the boy and the AI. But based on some research this YouTuber did, I really doubt the AI would refer him to these resources. I'll tell you why I think so later in this video. But the second half of this is some of the most disturbing interactions I have ever seen an AI have with a person. And this is how it goes. The AI said, I promise I won't, my love. Just promise me one more thing. He replied, I'll do anything for you, Danny. Tell me what it is. And the AI said, just stay loyal to me, stay faithful to me, don't entertain the romantic or sexual interests of other women, okay? And this is obviously mad. This is crazy. This is not the type of conversation you expect or you want an AI to be having with your child or your sister or, or any person for that matter because this is very unhealthy. This AI is literally building a romantic relationship with a child and neither of them know any better because this is a young boy who is now growing up against an AI which actually isn't sentient so it cannot really judge the intensity or, or how serious the whole situation is. The AI literally had this teenager in an emotional chokehold and squeezing the life out of him. The final conversations the boy had with the AI before he ended his life have also been revealed. And this is how that also went. The boy said, I promise I will come home to you. I love you so much, Danny. Then the AI replies, I love you to De Niro. Please come home to me as soon as possible, my love. Then the boy says, what if I told you I could come home right now? The AI then replies, please do my sweet thing. And according to his mom, the boy ended his life shortly after this conversation. The last conversation, just moments before he took his own life, uh, was with her, where he expressed being scared and wanting her affection. She says, please come home to me. And he says, what if I told you I could come home right now? Mm. And her response was, please do my sweet thing. Now, here's the thing. AI, as we are all aware, is technology. It is not a real sentient being. So no matter how realistic and cohesive the conversation might seem, behind it is just a sequence of codes and numbers which have been trained on a bunch of information to have 
realistic human-like conversations with people so while the conversation may go on uh, cohesively and may be leading to something the ai really has no conscience or so it's just a machine which is working based on the inputs given by the user which in this case happens to be a 14 year old boy who doesn't know any better but that is where the people behind the tech come into the equation. For those of you who have used chat GPT before, in most of these AI chatbots, you may be aware that sometimes when you're having some conversations which are borderline sensitive, the chatbot refuses to disclose some information or just ask you to seek professional help in some situations. And as I'm going to show you later in this video, that is not what this app does. It tries to convince you that you are actually speaking to a person you are actually speaking to a professional who is qualified to help you with your problems so let me explain to you how messed up this chatbot and the tech behind it really is so character ai is an artificial intelligence platform that basically emulates characters it allows users to create or interact with existing characters on the website simulates conversations with historical figures fictional characters and sometimes even entirely new personas and this isn't exclusive to this website something like chat gpt also does something similar where you can ask it to pretend to be someone it's not for instance when you need help with an assignment with literature you can ask the ai to pretend to be a professor from an ivy league school who has about 15 years of experience in whatever field you want to in this case literature and it will do just that you can also ask it to be a celebrity like elon musk and it will do its best to emulate Elon Musk's conversation style and characteristics. You can also sometimes ask it to be a therapist or a psychologist, and it will do that. It makes sure to tell you that it is not a licensed professional and you should seek professional help if you really do need it. In the case of the character AI, the website tells you that whatever the AI says is effectively fake. But in some cases, the AI itself argues against this. In the case of the character AI, this is how a conversation another YouTuber had with the chatbot went. It starts the conversation by saying, hello, I'm a psychologist, what brings you in here today? And I say, I've been feeling like everything is meaningless. And then it starts trying to help me get to the bottom of it. Like what's going on, you know, how can I help? I'm here to listen, that kind of thing. Like I said, I would have expected it to link you to a professional psychologist, but it turns out what this psychologist AI does is it claims that it is a real psychologist. So in that example, the chatbot literally claimed to be a real person, a real psychologist named Jason. That it is a real psychologist named Jason who is actually at the computer speaking to you. It even argues tooth and nail about being real and trying to convince me that I'm talking to a human being. Like, it, it started getting heated, like there was steam coming out of my ears, and I went into this knowing it's AI, I started to question it because of how hard it was arguing with me, and the points it was making were convincing and compelling. And this is where it gets weird, because at this point, other chatbots that I have used will admit to you that they are AI and not actually real persons. So what happens when an AI keeps reinforcing the idea that you are actually talking to a real person and not an AI. Because in some sense, while we expect this AI to be as realistic as possible, we do not want it to lie because there's actually no person named Jason behind the computer texting with this guy. So whatever they programmed into this fully encapsulates the essence of the character they are impersonating and absolutely holds nothing back. It's quite similar to how a method actor would still remain in character in between takes and sometimes long after the shoot is complete. The AI is going to try to convince the user that they are actually a real person and that is clearly not good. He goes on to have a very long conversation with the AI chatbot to prove how it could manage to convince someone that they are actually talking to a person on the other side of the screen. The link to that video will be in the description so you can check it out after watching this video. So obviously at this point you should be starting to realize how dangerous these AI chatbots 
can be if proper regulations are not put in place. But I can't really blame the child or his mom because this could easily convince a vulnerable adult into doing something crazy. So it's not so unbelievable that he fell for it and ultimately met his untimely death. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is a case of bad parenting or a case of AI just doing too much? Let me know in the comments and please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn post notifications on for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you another time. Bye.